Now in the same period, we're going to be looking at the night attack on Sanjo Palace. And this is from events of the Hejai period, which is a larger scroll describing a civil war, basically. So this is an illustrated Japanese historical narrative. The scroll itself depicts some of the battles from this civil war. The piece we're actually looking at is at the end, uh, right here, and that is the night attack on Sanjo Palace. Here the Sanjo Palace is attacked and the Emperor taken prisoner. The swirling flames and smoke dominate, giving you the sense of chaos and conflagration. And here we see the detail. And it's not the most realistic smoke and fire that we've seen, but it gets across the psychology of it, because after all, the psychology is what they're after. Now imagine if this were a European piece. If this were a European painting, and here we have troops coming to arrest the emperor, we would probably be, first of all, at ground level. You'll notice we're floating sort of above it as if we're in a drone or up in a tree looking down. This form of perspective is very common to the Japanese. It's to get across a better sense of what's going on in the story. It plays better to the narrative rather than focusing on realism. Second, if this were European, we would be focused on not only being at ground level, but on the troops specifically taking the emperor. Whereas when we look at this piece, that part of the scene is not necessarily apparent. Instead, the Japanese are focusing on the psychology of the scene. What would it be like to see it? So they're trying to get across this chaos and cacophony of what's got to be going on, not only in the warrior's minds, but even in a witness's mind, how confusing it would appear. Because you see a lot of people dressed a lot of different ways. This is all happening in the dark. It's getting at the psychology of the battle getting across sort of those first thoughts that you would have if you actually saw this taking place. Now, the color and brushwork are used to enhance that chaos. You'll notice all the warriors are in more or less the same colors. There's nothing real obvious. There's not, you know, the good guys in white and the bad guys in black or anything like that. We're, we're focusing on that element. What would it be like to actually witness this event and arguably makes this a far more powerful image than many of those that we see in the West. Because imagine that I'm adding the story to it and you've got the story and you're reading the story and you're looking at this and they're going to play off and enhance one another rather than replacing your imagination with an image to illustrate. Here, it's trying to tell you how to feel. More to the point, it's trying to show you how to feel, which is really what makes it so effective.